Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the entertainment news. Yes, Mr. Easy calls out the headies. Hmm. Yes, Nigerian Ghanaian artist Mr. Easy has shaded organizers of the Hip Hop World Awards, aka the headies, for failing to give him the car prize he won in 2016 hmm. as the next rated artist. It all started after Hip TV posted a photo of Mr. Easy and his girlfriend, Timmy Otedola, on his Twitter page. Mr. Easy replied the post, throwing major shade. He wrote, and I quote, Instead, make you give me my car. You day here, they tweet couple goals. Yes, this reply had many wondering what Easy's tweet was really about. We reached out to Mr. Easy's management for a comment, and this was what they had to say. And I quote, we won the award on the 22nd of December, 2016. We weren't given the car until 24th of October, 2017. About a year later, 26th November, 2018, it was repossessed by a bank. We've been in talks with the Hedis team for weeks, and they promised to give us a new car, but after this year's Hedis, they went silent on us. For us, though, it's not about the car, it's the principle behind it, and it's also for the sake of other artists. Don't take a car on loan, give something you can afford to give. End hmm. quotes. Mr. Easy hmm. versus the Hedis. I thought, come. This is so embarrassing. Yeah, it is. So I saw this post this morning, I knew Mr. Easy collected this car. I've seen Mr. Yeah, Easy. It, it was yes, driving yeah, it, and yeah, then we're yeah, talking about how he has money, and, and it was not car buy, and he's still using, using that, that car. Yes. So I was shocked when I saw this post by Mr. Easy, and we're wondering what really happened. <laughs> so we got in, um, in talks with somebody from his management team, and he put out all of this, that a bank actually took the car that he had this gave Mr. Easy. Messy situation. <laughs> Let's think about this. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to. Okay, so in yeah, all honesty, okay. I always say this thing, and this is not to shade anybody or whatever it is, but honestly, I actually don't rate any award. I don't <clears> rate <throat> them, especially in this Nigeria. I don't rate any of them. Reason I don't post anything. I mean, the head is you say you are the head is. If you want to give out something, give what you can afford. How do you give? They just give it to him. Wait, you first of all, you gave it to him a year after. Right. Then. The bank comes to say, oh, you took it on loan, now you probably haven't paid or whatever it is, and then they took the car back from the person. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, these things, it's not, and as they said, in all honesty, for me, it's not even about, oh, car or collecting a car or whatever. Like, the principle, your, what, where are your values? Like, ah, I beg. Everybody should just, nah. It's, it's this actually is, about it's, values it's, here it's, and um, being credible. Yes. So if you organize awards, you should be credible from top to to finish I don't just understand like I'm just tired already and he said everything you don't do this if you know you can't afford stuff then don't promise people this if you know that it is only plaque that you would give them give, give them, them. Uh -uh. you don't get and it is only in Nigeria that I see that people organize awards and then they don't have money to read they don't add money they just give you plaque to take home and then you are like <laughs> even the plaque they will tell you come and pay for the category in fact I, I they have won one award before that before they even gave me the, they gave me the plaque they did not put anything on it Am I supposed to go and be, do, why did you give me the award? So as she said, you can never even catch me, post anything. So people will be like, oh, is it that she's proud of? Especially with the fact that I've gotten to a stage that I don't know. If I deserve something, just give me. Just I can't be me. saying, please, vote for me. Have you voted? And like, really? Honestly, knowing the <laughs> fact that, because I mean, growing up, I used to think that awards were based on merit. But knowing very well that it is not, the, like, none of them come so. with merit. You have someone in there or you've paid or something. So I never even stress myself or bother myself about these things. I just leave it. This, this okay, so now let's move on, guys. Nigerian winners at the All Africa Music Awards 2019. It was a night of major wins for Africa as the All Africa Music Awards AFRIMA 2019 was in full effect. The sixth edition, which held at the Eco Convention Center over the weekend, saw winners emerge out of the 36 categories, which comprised of continental and regional categories. Winners from Nigeria at the award ceremony include Bernard Boy, who won Best Male Artist in Western Africa and Artist of the Year in Africa. Best Female Artist in Western Africa went to Tiwa Savage, while Best Artist Duo or Group in Africa. Contemporary went to Tubaba, DJ Spino won Best African DJ, while Joe Boy won Best Artist Duo or Group in African Pop for his song Baby. Music producer Kelpi won Producer of the Year in Africa, while Whiskey won Song of the Year in Africa for Fever. The sixth Afri Afrima Legendary Awards went to Awilo Lugumba and Tubaba for their 
positive impact of their craft in the music, arts, and culture industry. Mm. So, guys, another yeah. award right here. Do you think uh, it, to it, them. they were deserving of the award? Because, I mean, um, especially the, the, the person I was just happy about for is Joe Boy winning mm -hmm. a particular category. Yeah, yeah it was a tight category. There was um, Rema, there was Fireboy. So I, I was just happy for Joe Boy winning a particular category. Um, we know, I've been saying this, that he has put in the work this year and of course winning a particular career the rest because this is we had to pick out the nigerian the nigerian um, winners it's africa so they were all the african winners um bonaboy wasn't surprising yeah, Bonaboy even Bonaboy won a Boy wanna, um, future awards yeah. yesterday. Oh, yes, who they have so, given so I, so, <laughs> Who they have given so you, you know, so, so <laughs> yes, of course. And I said this thing to Arike when we, before we started the show, that there is always this trend about awards. So if um, they started in January and maybe a particular organizer or this award actually went to, so they keep it going, especially somebody that has been nominated for Grammys and yeah. you, are, you want to. No, this, want this, this one, nobody, nobody can even argue this one. If they see that they can benefit from you, yes. they would, there was a certain award I was nominated with somebody and they knew that me, I don't have anything to offer them. Who am I? Daughter of who? <laughs> but they gave it to someone that she understands. So now, if well, you know that they can benefit something from you, or there's like clout that they can ride on as well, they will take it. Definitely, they'll give it to you. Okay. So, but I'm happy for everyone that's won. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, it's, it's 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 good. So, <laughs> so one thing about award is I keep saying this. So there would always be mixed feelings. So you'd see that somebody won, and some people would just be very cross. Like why? must it go to that person and then another yeah. set of people you see them they'll say ah that person really deserves like you, you know can, that you can you can't subscribe so you can yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely absolutely so shout out to all the winners yes sir all right moving on to the to the foreign scene um gabriel union fired from america's got talent american actress gabriel union has reportedly been fired as judge on america's got talent after just one season now according to sources her exit from the show is complicated one as she got fired after allegedly speaking out and about the work environment. Lately, she has been speaking up about the problematic situations which involve racism, sexism and more. And according to sources, Simon Cowell, the show producer, was not pleased with this. Now, the plan and hence the plan to replace her. Now, this is the first, this is not the first time issues have been raised as regards the American Scott Talent working environment. If you would recall, former co-host, um, host um, Canon, Nick Cannon, quit the show in 2017 after being threatened with termination by executives over the joke he made about NBC on a Showtime comedy special. As at the time of this report, neither Gabriel Union nor the other co-host, Julian Hoff, who, have, who was also fired, have commented on their exit from the show, and there is no word on who their replacements will be for the 15th season of the show. Mm. Okay, so I don't even know why I keep remembering be, being Mary Jane and uh, it was Gabrielle Union who was the lead, I mean, Character. the lead yeah. actor right there. And it was all about, you know, this complaint is what was the whole Movie. thing. Yes. About, yeah. So they were talking about a presenter. Every time she comes on, she's talking about the black. She's talking about this. So she feels that it's a cause that she must follow through. Do you understand? So this is exactly what is happening. And uh, well, I'll just be fair here. I know that racism really exists and it still exists. But I think that um, sometimes, yeah, maybe you can say that we overdo stuff. But I think that it's now becoming a complex thing for the blacks in a way that even if nobody mm. is attacking you, even when you must do the right thing, you're saying, oh, it's because, it's, it's because, you know, and all that. I'm not saying that they're yeah. right. I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just saying that we should just be fair and then we should just mm. be objective. Okay. They, they, they put out a statement saying, um, Gabrielle um, has gotten another gig, which is under gig. So she had to step down from a one year job, uh, self and a co-host that they fired. But people are saying, how oh, will she get another job from a gig that is paying her a whole lot of money just one year? on the job, that this is a lie, what did she do, come out and say what she d did instead of just um, painting it, it paint, trying to make everything And if she got like, another job, she would resign, not get fired. Yeah, reportedly. Anyways, yeah. we are done with the entertainment news.